What's going on, y'all? I got here to talk about Titans Episode 7 entitled Bruce Wayne. I have no idea why it's called Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I mean, I know why it's called Bruce Wayne, but it's not. The episode actually wasn't about Bruce Wayne. It, it was really about um, Dick's mental uh, men, men, Dick, Dick's mental issues, but um, I digress. So <laughs> the episode starts where... It's basically the fallout from the previous episode where Dick is Dick's, Dick is basically like, you know, he's going crazy. He's feeling the hurt. He's feeling the guilt, you know, about what he did to Jericho, about the fact that Jason almost died. And he's just like, look, I brought everybody into this mess. And, you know, Dr. Light's dead. The others don't have anything to do with this. And he basically he picks up a gun and he's like, yo, I'm just going to kill Deathstroke on my own and I'm out. Um, his subconscious, because of his guilt, you know, like his distress and his anger, his subconscious basically creates Bruce Wayne as like, I don't want to say the voice of reason because he was tormenting him the whole episode, but, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like his, um, unofficial conscious almost, you know, Bruce is basically, and, and, and Bruce is being a dick to him. Like he was actually, I mean, I don't want to say Bruce because it really wasn't Bruce. It was, it was Dick's subconscious, but in Dick's subconscious, the person who holds him most accountable or I guess is the most disappointed in him would be Bruce Wayne. It's not like he envisioned Rachel's disappointment. He envisioned like his, his subconscious created Bruce Wayne talking shit to him. So Dick's like, look, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find Deathstroke. I'm gonna bust a cap in his ass. <laughs> we go keep it moving. So he, um, you know, he, he rolls up on this woman, like the, the black dude that works with Deathstroke. Dick's looking for him. He finds, Dick finds, um, he finds, he finds a woman who, I believe she said her twin sister, her and her twin sister basically used to bang the black dude. And he got the sister, he got, he got, he got the sister, you know, like she overdosed on drugs basically and he killed her. So, and the other sister that Dick found, she's just like, look, you know, she tells him, she tells Dick the information. She tells Dick where he is because he's just like, look, you know, you you know, that, that, that son of a bitch killed my sister. So, I mean, in, I hope, I, I mean, I assume she was hoping that Dick would pop a cap in his ass. Um, I actually, the actress who was sitting at the table, I thought she was Blackfire. Um, maybe not. So that's something that we're going to have to, we're going to have to keep following up on. So anyway, Dick finds the guy, he rolls up on him in the bathtub, um, pistol whips him. And the thing that was crazy before he pistol whipped him, the guy was just like, yeah, you and Deathstroke are like the same. You guys are cut from the same cloth. And then he's just like that stuff that went down five years ago because Bruce was getting Bruce the sub subconscious Bruce was getting mad because people kept getting the date wrong he was just <laughs> he was like you know five years ago when you you know what you did to his ch- to his son to his child that was messed up man and I'm just like I'm like bro like he killed Aqualad <laughs> like everybody's just like oh what dick did was messed up I'm like bro he killed Aqualad like everybody's acting like Slade didn't kill Aqualad so I'm not to say that dick was justified but I'm just saying like Everybody's acting like Dick just woke up one day and was like, yo, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a kill this kid. And they act like Deathstroke's like an innocent bystander. So <laughs> when he, when he knocks the dude out, cause the dude didn't want to give him the information, the telephone rings, he picks up the cell phone and then it's, it's Slade Wilson. He's like, come to the church, you son of a bitch. Dick goes to the church. He sees photos of all of the Titans, except for Superboy and Corey. He sees photos of them all over the tower. So Dick's whole thing, like he's spazzing out because he's like, yo, Slade's in the tower. He's been watching us. So he runs back to the tower to try to warn everybody. In the meantime, while back at the tower, (laughs) um, Corey, she's been trying to save Superboy because apparently Corey is a doctor. Um, She can't save him. She doesn't know how to save him. The actual doctor that created Superboy, because um, we find out from the last episode, Mercy Graves was the one who stole the dog. Mercy Graves stole the dog, and she's the one that put, that, that, that bust three shots in Superboy's chest, because her whole thing was like, look, if he even has like one-tenth of Lex Luthor in him, he gots to go. So she did not pop, pop, she kept the dog, um, the doctor freed the dog, and the dog flew her to Superboy. <laughs> so the dog has super strength, laser vision, he understands English perfectly and the dog can fly. And he has like Superboy sonar because you can't tell me his sense of smell is that damn strong. So he shows up at the tower. The doctor shows up at the tower. She tells, um, she tells Cora, she's like, look, the only way to save him is to basically put him next to the sun, but we don't got, but we can't do that. And Corey's like, yes, we can, because I am the sun. She brings in Rachel. She tells Rachel, you know, I'm going to light up 
I just want you to contain me so I don't blow up the entire tower. Apparently, Rachel knows how to handle her powers now. <laughs> and Rachel was able to contain the fire. I don't know how Rachel did it, but Starfire, she lit up. Rachel contained the fire. You know, the doctor was watching and all. She just saw, she just, see, and I don't like that. I don't like the fact that the doctor was watching Rachel do her ghost, you know, do her like her magic thingy. And the fact that Starfire basically lit up the way she did. I don't like that because, I mean, granted, after after she lights up, she saved Superboy, burnt all his clothes off. This is like the fifth dude Rachel's seen butt naked and Rachel's like 15. <laughs> but um, afterwards, when Superboy was recovering, the doctor said to him, she was like, listen, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to try to get as far away from LexCorp as I possibly can. You know, she's like, I'm going to run for it. And then... You know, the two of them like had had a nice little conversation. He called her mom. You know, and that was basically it. But but the thing about it is, they made it a point that when Starfire l- was lighting up and when Rachel did her thing, they 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 put the camera on the doctor, and she was like in amazement. She was like in awe of what she saw. And you got to remember, she's a scientist. She does experiments. She does genetic experiments. Seeing something like that probably sparked her curiosity, and I will not be surprised if she doesn't come back later on and turn on everybody just for the sake of scientific experiments because she wants to biologically study the Titans. So the fact that she saw that, I wasn't happy with that, but she said but she said to Superboy that she was going to leave, so we'll see if she actually leaves. Um, for the rest of the crew, Beast Boy was asleep the whole time, um, or he was on monitor duty. Uh, the rest of the Titans, the OGs, they were... People were leaving things in their presence. Like somebody left Donna a photo of the boy who got killed in the second episode by um, by Dr. Light. Somebody left a bottle of Hennessy or whiskey or whatever in Hank's room. They left orange soda in Donna's room and somebody put crosses all over Rachel's room. Everybody blamed Jason (laughs) because Jason's an asshole. Speaking of Jason... He was in his room because he was having his PTSD because what happens is, you know, when he was falling from the building, he just kept seeing like what a person sees when they're falling from a building and you just see like windows, 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 like fast paced windows. He saw that like he saw that everywhere he lost everywhere he looked and it was making him crazy. Like, you know, he had like major PTSD and, you know, he didn't he he didn't tell anybody and he didn't know what he was going to do. Rose comes into his room. And then Rose is just like, yeah, I'm talking to you because you're the, she hit him with the, you're the only person in this tower that I can relate to bullshit. And the two of them end up like playing records, dancing, and they started making out. She picked up one record that had her brother's name on it, said Property of Jericho. And then she immediately starts spazzing out and she's like, oh, this is my brother's records. Dick knows something. You all are trying to set me up. You're going to turn me over to slaves. She starts freaking out. Jason, Jason's up, you know, Rose gets mad and she leaves. Jason's upset because he was about to get some. And, you know, and now she's gone. And that could have cured his PTSD. But, you know, and, you know, and, and then Rose left and then we never saw Rose again, which I thought was weird. I don't know if she came out with the sword and she was going, she was going to bust a cap in everybody or she was going to start cutting limbs off. But I don't, I don't know where Rose went. But um, Raven, Rachel basically busts in Jason's room and she's like, yo, you and Rachel got kind of graphic. Like she was like cursing, cursing. Rachel was like, look, motherfucker, <laughs> like stay out of my room. And I was like, well, damn, you know. <laughs> I was like, he's a little, little, little aggressive, but, um, you know, she, you know, she blamed Jason. And then when they were in the kitchen, everybody was like, yeah, I got orange soda and I got a photo and I got whiskey. And then Hank was like, you did all this, you son of a bitch. And everybody blamed Jason for what happened. Even, I mean, Dawn, Dawn didn't blame him, but she was tiptoeing on that. She was, she was on that line. She was on the line. Um, you know, Jason was just like, you know what? Screw this. I don't need this shit. He's like, everybody's blaming me for stuff that I didn't do. I'm out. Then Dick shows up and Dick's like, yo, Slade's in the tower. Everybody's like, what? He's like, Slade's in the tower. And then the ghost of Bruce Wayne, he's like, um, Jason left, so, Jason left, dumbass. And then Dick goes after Jason. Jason stands on a ledge. And then again, like he, he had a rough childhood. You know, he'd just been traumatized. He was in a near death experience. He's standing on the ledge of the building. He's about to jump. Cause he's like, look, everybody hates me. Me being here is what's ruining the Titans because everybody can't come together because I'm poison. And then Dick basically takes a seat next to him. He's like, listen, it's actually, it's not you. It's me. sounds like a plot of a bad relationship. (laughs) You know, he's like, it's me. He's like, you know, he said the Titans can't 
be formed because of you. He's like the toxic, the poison of the Titans is me because I'm the one who killed Jericho. And and that's how we end that's how we end the episode. You know, with um Dick basically about to confess to Jason that he killed Jericho. And then the uh, then the episode ends. It is my prediction. First of all, Slade's not in the tower. <laughs> Slade's not in the tower. Um Rose is the one who took all the pictures of everybody because Rose is working for Slade. Because the whole coincidental thing about, oh, her and Slade got into a fight, he cut her eye out, he's chasing her, she, you know, like Dick found her. Slade planned this whole thing. And Dr. Light even said, he said in one of the episodes, he said to Slade, he was like, years worth of planning down the drain. Rose has been planted by Slade, which is why she targeted, you know, she targeted, um, Jason, because I guess she lo- she viewed him as the weak link or the person she can get closest to to you know to f stuff up. So it's a setup. Like Rose is the plant. Rose has been a plant this whole time, and we're gonna find out in the next. But see, but the thing is, I know Rose is a plant, but I don't think Rose knows the story of what actually happened to Jericho because she did seem legitimately shocked when she saw the records. So. I think what'll save Rose in the end is when she finds out the real story about what happened to her brother. And as far as Dick's concerned, it might not be as bad as we think, or maybe it is as bad as we think. And she ends up spazzing on Dick and then Rose just becomes like a villain for future seasons to come. But, um, oh, and also as much as I'm not a fan of the guy that they got to play Bruce Wayne, because I think he's, he's more of an Alfred than a Bruce Wayne props to them for having him do the Batusi because that shit was funny <laughs> so well um, so that was it for the for the Titans review the next episode we got coming up is entitled Jericho so we're gonna find we're gonna finally find out what ha- the order of the I'm gonna assume there's a plan there's a plan to this because the order in which they place these episodes is crazy to me and every time they get us excited about something they never finish it and they go to something else but yeah <laughs> but um so we're gonna we're finally gonna find out what happened we're gonna get the truth and then we're gonna see where this leads and i'm here for it because um titans is my ish so um so that was it <laughs> thanks for tuning in um keep it locked i got my um my arrow reviews coming um as well as all all this other great dc content that we got in the pipeline so until then everybody thanks for tuning in and as always i'm out this bitch <laughs>